just four chords, C major, G major, and then later we're gonna see an A minor and an F. When learning new concepts like this, you wanna go ahead and try to minimize difficulty of other aspects. So you don't wanna play the hardest chords, E chord, etc. You wanna focus on the technique, which today is our right hand, or your strumming hand, left handers, it's clearly your left hand, okay? The most important aspect of this style of finger picking is the bass. So for the first exercise, we only have two chords, C and G. But we're actually only playing the G and the C strings. Now my hand, I'm not, sometimes when you finger pick, you're gonna play up here and let all these chords ring out. This one, I'm actually going to take my palm and rest it just right here. So ideally these two strings, the E and the A ring out, but I get a little bit of mute on the C and the G strings. Now, the further I go up, the more it gets muted. It, well, you want it to be subtle. Even more of a mute, you want to think about it as you're reducing the sustain. If the right hand placement is the trickiest part. Focus on the technique first and then try to tighten up the placement. When we make the C chord, we're going to play the G string with our thumb and C string with our thumb. One, two, three, four. All quarter beats. One, two, three, four. Again, now you hear that C string's ringing out. I would tighten it up if I wanted to, or if I want both of them to ring out more, I would move my hand back. Now you could, but it's not really the sound you want to try to get when you're using these finger picking styles for this particular style of finger picking. And even if you want to use this style, the right hand technique is going to be the same. So we're going to one, two, three, four, switch to G and thumb's going to go same string, same order. One, two, three, four. Between the C and the G, you get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Really take your time on that exercise, even if it seems overly easy, because it's the foundation of everything that we're doing today. The next thing we're gonna do is on the one beat, our index finger's on the E string and our middle finger is on the A. This will always be the E string. This one will always be the A string. Your thumb's in charge of the other two. On the first beat, you're gonna pluck the G string with your thumb, I'm fretting a C chord, and these two fingers pull up on the E and the A at the same time. One, one, two. Thumb comes down, second beat on the C string. One, two, three, four. One, G, same exact idea. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We mix the two up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going into the third exercise. If you're still here and you haven't, you should go ahead and hit subscribe as we do new ukulele every single Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesday's technique songs on Saturday. We do baritone as well. Okay, now we're going to introduce the A minor and the F. Your right hand is doing the exact same thing. So let your muscle memory do these chords and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A minor, F. If I wanted it to ring out, I would get this sound. And really knowing that that change in feel comes from your, we'll call it strumming hand or, sh yeah, well, strumming hand, um, picking hand, rhythm hand, knowing that that change in sound comes from this hand and not this hand, 
that's a powerful takeaway of this lesson. All right, fourth exercise is up. If you're still here too, think about becoming a Patreon. You'll get tabs for this lesson up here in the notes, and that's printable tabs with all of our tutorials. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to play the C on the one. One, two, three, four. When we go over to the G, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. And we're gonna pluck these on the third beat. Now here we're doing just the first two measures, but you're gonna be surprised how much your muscle memory wants to pluck the G on the one. Pay attention, one, two, three, four. Resist the urge, one, two, three, four. Just the two measures, one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're gonna add the A minor on the one. One, two, three, four. The F on the three. One, two, three, four. Slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So you see, you have the power to kind of emphasize any beat you want. And that can be very powerful when you're trying to create movement with these ideas. Fifth and final exercise, if you're still here, you're doing great. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna emphasize the one, the two, the three, and the four. So C is the same, one, two, three, four. G's gonna be one, two, three, four. So we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. A minor, the third beat. One, two, three, four, and F the fourth beat. One, two, three, four. So this one nice and slow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Find where it gets difficult for you and incorporate that into your warm up and your cool down. If you do this daily, so if you do this exercise seven days a week, you're gonna see significant improvement in your finger picking in just a week. With little ideas like this, before I go into learning a song or, or a solo or something more advanced, I warm up with these ideas and when I put my ukulele down, I cool down with them. That reinforces my technical ability, which ultimately reinforces my playing. Now the next step I'm gonna teach you with this one, we're not doing it today because I want you to practice this, so I don't wanna just throw you in the deep end, is adding syncopation. Which is plucking on the and. So that's the next step, but get this down under your fingers first, and in two weeks I'm gonna show you how to add that syncopation. And that, my friends, is the most important finger picking exercise on the ukulele. And there you go, folks. That is the foundation of finger picking, specifically Travis picking style, alternating bass. This is the foundation of so many things that you're gonna wanna do later on with your playing that it really, really vale la pena. What's that in English? It's worth your effort. I'm kind of more or less in English. It's really worth the effort to take the time and pay attention to this. Treat it as its own thing before you try to add these complicated details. Because if you have a strong foundation, it makes it a lot easier to add to it. New ukulele Wednesday and Saturday. Think about becoming a Patreon. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. And until next time, have a lovely day, friends. Life is good. Catch you on the flip side. Rock and roll.